Good morning, good afternoon. Welcome to All About Animals. I'm Sherry Gratitor, <laughs> and we are at the Equestrian Connection in Unincorporated Lake County, Lake Forest, Metawa, that area. My guest today is Diana Schnell, who is the founder, president, what else are you, Diana? Well, executive director. Executive director of the Equestrian Connection. The Equestrian Connection is, is a facility that offers multiple services, many of which revolve around horses, although not all of them do, for people with disabilities of one kind or another. Diana, quick rundown on what, what kinds of things you're offering here. Oh, it started with therapeutic riding and hippotherapy with um, licensed therapists, but we're now moving to so many different job skill training, summer camps, winter camps, um, you told me you have a uh, veterans program. Veterans work program. I know you have uh, an Alzheimer's program. We do. We have a, a dementia program. We an, have an MS program. A new program that I'd like to tell you about um, for our MS riders. And our therapy, mm -hmm. um, psychotherapy, drill team. Massage. Massage. I think we're up to 18 different programs. Which is remarkable and you are sliding scale. Yes, for sure. We have yes. to be. And you said you have a new program for MS, a balance program. What is that? It's called Balance for Life. Um, it's a grant from Baxter International Foundation for adults and older teens who are at risk for falling, either due to traumatic brain injury, MS, um, any other types of issues in it that where they're at risk for falling or they're afraid of falling. And because of that, they alter their life and stop doing some things, some functional, basic functional skills that we hope to bring back to their life. So it's very exciting. It's for two years and um, we've got right now 26 participants just for the first two months. So. And speaking of Baxter, you have a new ramp for your hay rides. We do. Um, we had a group of Baxter interns this summer choose us as a project to build a ramp for our hay ride. And our hay ride is great for groups that are coming and we break them into groups where they can ride, some then go on the hay ride. And the hay ride is a great chance for them to see nature and participate when many times they can't because they're in wheelchairs. So they um, they made us the ramp, they helped us with our website, they built us some bat houses so that we could um, control the mosquito population based on the rainy you know, spring mm -hmm. we had. Oh, yeah. And just a great group of um, young adults who um, embrace what we do and I just so grateful. Yeah, I mean, that's what we're about, uh, pre presenting opportunities for people who don't get them because of their special needs. So it's one more checklist. So they get to ride horses and walk horses and groom horses. And now they get to ride the ride. Yeah. Tell us about the group that we just filmed riding. Oh, they are, um, their group is called Ella, and they're, they come and learn job skills here. And so at the end of each uh, quarter, we reward them with writing and um, because they helped us with so many projects. So it's a very cool group. It's very fun. Okay. And they've been coming for years. All of these groups and all of these programs that you offer cost money. And a lot of these people who are sliding scale are not offsetting those costs. Right. You have a big fundraiser coming up. We do. We have Marty's Barn Party, yay! Um, and this year it's very exciting. It's a Nashville theme. We've never done that. And David Nail, a young Grammy nominated uh, singer, is going to be entertaining us. And Patty Vesquez, uh, the local comedian, is going to be the MC for the night. She's a special needs parent and she's just a wonderful she's wonderful i've seen her yeah she's amazing so it's just going to really be i think it's going to be one of our biggest and best 
ever. Um, we're rolling out the red carpet. And I gotta tell you, to see that huge arena transformed and carpeted with a stage in it, it doesn't look like a place for riding in horses anymore. I know, but yet it brings people here and shows them what we're about. And that's what that was the important part. The goal of the night is to get 25 riders sponsored, full sponsorship, and 10 art artists because we have a new art therapy program for non-English speaking families and many of their children don't speak so they're speaking through their art. So this is, we're really hoping we can get those kids sponsored. It's a nifty, nifty idea and it is a wonderful program. It's absolutely marvelous. What are the dates? September 20th, Barn Party. Um, people can register online at um, www.bidpal.net. That what? Spend it. Bidpal. B-I-D-P-A-L dot net slash Marty's Barn Party. And they can go online and actually see our auction items, our raffle tickets. Even if they can't be here the week prior to the party, they'll be able to bid on items. Yeah. So it's a way to participate without even being here. So there's an auction and there are items for sale. And there are all kinds of games which are a great deal of fun, having played them and never won. Uh, I can tell you that they are fun. Um, all kinds of stuff, wonderful food. It's very good food. It's gonna be Nashville themed food too. So I'm especially excited about the um, mac Cajun shrimp macaroni and cheese. Oh wow. Great food, great drinks, yes. liquor is open definitely bar. here, open bar, wonderful music, great entertainment, but more than anything else, this is the one time a year where you really turn to the people and get the majority, not all because you have other funders, mm -hmm. but the majority of your support for the year comes from this one event. Yes, and it's a big, it's a big help to us. It's a big help to a lot of, of young people mm -hmm. and a lot of adults as well. I mean, you're not limited. No, not anymore. We're getting very, very strong in, the, in servicing adults. We've got over 320 clients a week now, and um, we keep growing. And you actually offer services to caregivers as well. We do, and we're going to branch into some other socialization type programs to help people with special needs build friendships because quite I, quite often they're isolated and don't have friends. We're going to do all sorts of things, so it's going to be cool. This is coming up and this is wonderful, and I suspect that we are running short on time. So we've given them the website. Is there a phone number they can call for information? Uh, yes, 847-615-8696. And we've shown you a little bit of riders so that you can see the joy that the riders get when they're on the horses. Or even there was one girl who was just leading a pony. And the joy that she got from being with that pony was remarkable. It is. It's, um, we have a group of four different um, senior units with dementia. And they come out and they groom and they lead ponies. And the joy, like you said, the joy just to interact to be here because it's such a happy healing place and to be with animals, which you know. Oh yeah. Has a secret healing power for all of us. Somebody, and I wish I remembered who, because I can't quote it off and said that the there is nothing better for the inside of a man than the outside of a horse. Teddy Roosevelt. Did he? Yeah. Yes. So he was a smart guy. He was. I mean, I acknowledge the fact that he was a lot smarter than I am. Um, and that, that statement has stayed with me forever because if you see the faces of the people here touching the outside of a horse, you know how good it is for their souls. For many, it's their favorite half an hour of the week. Would be mine. Yeah, it's mine. Absolutely. Too. Diana, thank you for talking to us. Thank you for putting up with all the <laughs> happenings. It's kind of like this all the time now. <laughs> yeah, a little bit chaotic. And we will take you now to save a pet and show you some of the dogs and cats that are waiting there for adoption. <laughs>